Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, we're off for more of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, and in the last episode, we assisted Kremia in a milk delivery because they got railroaded into the Gorman racetrack by the Gorman brothers who were trying to sabotage and break their milk bottles, but hey, we were there and we sniped them good. We also went, paid a visit to the graveyard because we couldn't actually go any further down that way because we now have a Pona, but uh, we can only do Grave 2, but we can do Grave 3 tonight. We will have to come back to Grave 1 at some point. Also, if we were playing the N64 version, we got a mask, but I'm not going to get too far into that until it's actually time to reap the rewards of said mask, and we will be getting it in the 3D version, wherever that may be. For now, though, we're going to be starting off with the lottery shop, and type in our last numbers. I forgot to check them. Let me click no thanks. So, finally, we're going to be able to complete this. It's 884 for me this time. Again, check your own bomber's notebook. It could be different if you're playing the 3D version. If you're playing the N64 version, you do not need to do this. But I would say do it anyway in this particular case because we're going to be focusing mostly on money. But of course, we want to be paying some visits to the ranch to see how everything is going before the end of the cycle. We're not going to go to the, uh, the ocean today because, I mean, we're not going to have a lot of time. So, 884, we've punched that in. And I'm going to set my alarm for a different time. So, I want to go to schedule. So, I want to set my alarm to after 8 p.m. Mainly because that as soon as it hits the night of the final day, I want to go back to the ranch before it closes at 8. Because that is the last time we're going to be able to see anything there. But, before we head off there for the day at least... We've still got some stuff in town, so we're not going to be going straight to the lottery on the night. we got to prioritise other stuff. But again, we will be focusing on money. So before we head off to the ranch, we're going to be doing the last minigame of Honey and Darling's Shop. Since we have some money to spare, we can hop right in. And the final day is kind of ironic, considering this store's placement. <laughs> Looks like we have another visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got... Perfect score two days in a row. Do you want to play again? Today is the target shooting day, isn't it, darling? One game is 10 rupees. Yeah! Those targets we got to shoot. They're going to go basically parallel to the direction that the platform's going to be spinning. And yes, the platform will move up and down just like it used to. But the targets will go in the opposite direction. But they won't move. So we're up and down. Here's the thing, though. This is infinitely easier than the shooting gallery next door. We've got two shooting games right next to each other. This game is obsessed with the bow. Considering that we got the fire arrows in Snowhead and the bow in the previous dungeon in Woodfall. This game really is obsessed with the bow. It should be called uh, Majora's Bow. <laughs> Majora's Arrow? I don't even know. Obviously the masks are the main focus, but the bow gets a lot of focus as well as a lot of mini games. I mean, hell, we had Kume's target practice as well. What the hell? Hit all the targets of the time it takes to dance us through one soul. But if you fall from this platform, you're out, isn't he, darling? Well, that's not going to be a problem. I'm stuck in first person. Can't exactly move there. Are you ready? Start the music. So, don't shoot them too often. They will kick you out. But it should be pretty simple as I missed the first shot. Yeah, because, um, you know, I'm looking in one direction. I'm pretty much going to be stuck doing this. So if I'm going to be rotating left, I'm going to constantly be moving myself left in order to shoot all these. But it's still infinitely easier. You have infinite shots. You have pretty much like a whole minute to do this. So it's like, you haven't really got much to worry about. And that's the last one. Easy. Didn't shoot them all perfect, but I didn't need to. We had plenty of time remaining. I didn't even hit them once. Ha <laughs> honey. He got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all you have to live, give him, honey. Yeah, it was the lady who made the noise there, but she said honey, not darling. She's supposed to say darling. I don't understand that. Got a piece of heart! Because we did it three days in a row! If you didn't do all three days in a row, you'd probably just get another fishing pass. You got a perfect score at target shooting at Honey and Darling's shop. Don't know why it's called a shop. It's more of a gallery or something, or an arcade. You got a perfect score three days in a row at Honey and Darling's shop. Your prize was a piece of heart. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Ah! You again? Do you still want to play? <laughs> One game is ten rupees. Uh, 
Why did you give me the silent treatment for a second there? It's like you had the debate if you wanted me to play. Yeah, unlike in the Deku Scrub minigame, they won't just outright refuse you entry. But these guys debate it and they still let you play. But you don't need to, so we're not going to do that. Honey, he says he isn't playing. So before we head off to the ranch, as I keep saying, I keep putting it off, I know, but that we do need to keep that in mind since that's the, pretty much been the primary focus of this three-day cycle. I want to go into the stockpot inn because we saw Anju walking out on day two for a walk in the rain with her umbrella. We can't get in there until it's eight o'clock, so you know what that means. We're going to break in. <laughs> the top entrance is always available, so that's perfectly fine. You will not get kicked out if you go in through that way. So, nothing stopping us. Let's have, let's go in there and let's see uh, what their um, evacuation plans are, because they have said many a time that they want to evacuate. Considering that Kremia mentioned that they might be going to the ranch to evacuate, that could be what's going to happen. I'm sorry, we're going to be taking refuge in the evening like the others. You should run too. It seems it's going to fall tomorrow morning. Okay, is Andrew even here? Oh, Tartus, are you ready? It's been a long time since we had a picnic at Rarani Ranch, hasn't it? Um, she won't read stories to us. Let's check her diary. Let's see what's going on. Granny's diary. We're going to take refuge at Rani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Grampy's favourite books. Oh dear. Is Andrew in here? Bear slap on the bunny hood just to make things a bit faster here in the kitchen. I mean, there's not really anyone staying here to cook, I don't think. Check upstairs. Staff room? Nope, employees only know admittance. Fair enough. But what happens if all the staff leave? Can we get in then? Sneaking into other people's rooms? You're the worst! Um, I guess someone's still staying here. Anything over here? Can we climb on these? No, but we do hear some rustling going on. Hello? Ah, and you! Here we go. Almost everyone evacuated and took refuge early this morning. Everything was supposed to be so... spirited. It's sad. We'll be going to Marani Ranch in the evening to take refuge. I think you should all hurry too. Dang. Um, guess we'll leave you be. Since... They're all going to be fleeing to Marani Ranch. And we have been there on day three before, but Kremia weren't there, it was only Romani. Well, actually, Kremia was more like Britain because what happened to Romani, so she probably never did the delivery. If she's done the delivery, she may not be there. So, I'd say, let's go head to the ranch. Accidentally grabbed two rupees while getting a pona on Milk Road. We're back in Romani Ranch. So, if we cycle around this way, we'll have the cow over here just grazing as before, but Kremia doesn't seem to be there. Okay, a little bit of a cut. It turns out that um, Kremia is in the ranch, but she's not at the cow that is near the entrance. In fact, she is at the two cows that are along this wall, and she's not actually visible until you enter render distance, which is a bit of a swerve, considering that not only is the balloon up here, it always rendered. But I believe Romani is too? Yeah, she is. Because if we go to where Romani is, and then do a U-turn... Yeah. Kremia is not actually visible unless you ride in into distance. So, let's see what she has to say now that we're here. In fact, I forgot to talk to her on the first day as well, but I can do that another time. Because she will be at the entrance there, I just kind of bypassed her because we've been in here so many times and we wanted to get on horse. I heard this from people who were fleeing this way in the morning. It's terrible. They said that huge moon is going to crash down on the town sometime tonight. I wonder if we'll be alright here. Actually, I know. We're not safe here either. I'm no expert on these things, but that's the feeling I get. But... That's how life goes, I guess. There are some things in life you can't change. 
No matter how hard you try. Damn. That's heavy stuff. I mean, think about it. We've done all this, and yet... You know, I can't actually go in first person on my horse. Actually, I can't move the camera as well. Okay, interesting. I was about to say, no matter how much that we've been helping out the ranch, that moon is still looming ahead. We're on a time limit. So... Hey, aren't you a little rusty? Wanna practice? And uh, no thanks, I'm good. I've done enough shooting to last me a lifetime. And I'm probably still gonna have to do it against some things, but hey. I'm kinda done for now. Hmm. Confident, aren't you? <laughs> Look at that smug face! <laughs> Makes you think that she has a thing for Link. <laughs> oh, she's going for a shot, and she nails it. <laughs> well, she doesn't have any arrows, but hey, she probably might get moaned out for that. Anyone in home? Rumani Ranch, Village of Milk, 6am to 8pm. This is why we need to be here on the night of the final day before 8pm. We need enough time to even get in here. So we will be paying these, these this little uh, ranch family one final visit before the end of the cycle. Because we've done everything we can. No one in here either. Again, there's a Stuff plushy of opponent up there, like adult opponent. How's that even work? But yeah, there's nothing doing here, so we've pretty much just got to waste time until it's night time. We could play the song a double time, but as I mentioned, we're going to be focusing mostly on our bank account today, because there's no point going to the ocean since we're not going to be able to get a lot of stuff done there with the amount of time we have remaining. So, I'm going to hop onto opponent and head straight into the field, because we have... Actually, I've got 97 rupees, so what I can do is take out two Dodongos, because I'm going to t fight those two big Dodongos in the go in the Mushroom Gorge of uh, Snowhead, north of uh, North Terminal Field, in order to build up my money, because that will give me 250 rupees, and that will be 100 rupees. We're going to be building up our money to at least 1,000, which we're actually pretty close to, but we need to get to 5,000 still, so it's going to be a bit of a while. So you know what I'm going to be doing? It's going to be basically a grind fest. I'll see you guys back at the bank when I've actually gained my first two Dodongo kills. Okay, so I thought I'd cut back just to show a fast way I'm killing these things. Just run around, do a quick jump attack without actually targeting, roll out of the way, cycle back round, don't have a jump attack without targeting, and that's an easy quick kill. These are the two that we want to take out. This one here, and then the one next to the grotto that has two Dodongos in there for a heart piece. Remember that the what the two in the grotto don't actually respawn once you not once you kill them both. So maybe you could kill one and then grind up on the one that way. And that is kind of a good way to grind during the night time. But I'm just going to take them both out when it's time. Uh, for now though, I'm not going to do it during the day because it's a waste. That's two fifty rupees that we can grab during the night time because all these Dodongos out here will be replaced by Enos. Don't waste your time with this wall. Probably not as worth. I'm at 197 rupees right now, so I'm just going to run straight back up this uh, slope. Cut the grass in North Clock Town. Or, I guess, over there, but it's a little bit out of the way, so I might as well do it on the way over here. And then we can go to the bank and see how much money that we actually have built up. This is what we're going to be doing, so I'm going to be cutting it out so you guys don't have to see it all the time. If you cut all these bushes down, at, in one go, you'll get the 20 rupees plus all the other green rupees, so it's roughly about 29 rupees. So you could also do that to grind, but obviously it's not as reliable, you don't get as much, but it could be quicker. There are many ways to make money. What's this? You need something. Excuse me, let me take a look at you. Ah oh, yes, 877 rupees we have, so that will actually bump us over the thousand already, so that's actually quite perfect. So dump it all in. You're really good, give me that much, you're one rich little guy. Alright, little guy, I've got a total of 1,077 rupees from you. What's this? You've already saved up 1,000 rupees. Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. At 1,000 rupees, and only at 1,000 rupees, you get 5 rupees. That's what they call interest. Yeah, that's what we call a waste of time, because I'm just going to dump that straight back into the bank, mate. There we are, 1,082. Now, um, we also have chests around... Uh, town that we can deal with. I have already set this up in advance. Off screen, for the remainder of the second day before I fast forward into the final day, 
I went and got the moon tier to change uh, change it for the t town title deed, so we have this flower available, so we can go grab these two chests in, in South Clock Town. But, again, we don't want to be wasting our time grabbing this now, we'll do that at night time when we come back after our final visit to the ranch. So, I'm going to be spending the rest of this day grinding as much money as possible, and I'll show you every 200 rupee milestone that I got. So, see you in a bit. All right, it's about night of the sec of the final day, not second, and I've banked. Wait for it. Just over two thousand rupees, right in the nick of time because the Dodongos are going to disappear. I know that we've already seen a montage of me fighting the those Dodongos to grind money on the N64 version to keep attempting the the town shooting gallery, but those are honestly the best ways that we can get money right now. But it's only in the day, so. Not the best, but yeah, we can still take out the two Dodongos in the grotto. But that's once it's actually time, but it's about to be night time, so I'm going to get back to the uh, ranch before that happens. Weird seeing that happen with my HUD on screen, but hey. Yeah, hey is for horses. <laughs> I was actually going to say, we are here, but I thought I'd go for the pun. I hesitated but you know i still went for the low hanging fruit i <laughs> get it because uh it's a ranch anyways enough with the jokes because it's honestly not the time for that to be perfectly honest with you i want to go in here oh good evening well milking the cows tonight it's chateau romani it's the first time i get to drink it until now, my sister always said, wait until you're an adult, but why now? You've become an adult now, Romani. I see it in you. I'm acknowledging it. Yeah. Then does Romani get a mask too? Well, yes, I'll make one for you. S sleep with me in my bed tonight, okay, Romani? Yes, sister. That is not weird. Do not take that out of context. For those who think that. It is still the end of the world. Even though that we have tried to do what we could. Kremia knows that it's the end of the world. And that's why people here have fled. And. Yeah. that That's probably why she's allowing her to have an alcoholic beverage. Stay with her sister for, for the night. Because they don't have parents. No matter what we do. We're still awaiting a dreaded fate. Of the moon. Speaking of the moon. Here are the refugees. Oh, tortoise. You're late. Tomorrow is another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Um. Finding ignorance isn't probably going to be helpful here at this point. Perhaps I was wrong. But he said so. The morning of the ceremony. Come to meet me in my room. I promised him I would wait, but already it's too late, isn't it? I've been a little harsh on Andrew, but it's fine this way. Right now, surviving is the important thing. Yeah, they all fled here. No one is at the Stockpot Inn other than whoever is still staying in that middle room upstairs for some ungodly reason. But yeah, that's all we can do at the ranch. I'm going to wait for them to leave the barn. And I'm going to enjoy my milk while it lasts. Good night. See you tomorrow, okay? Her face says it all. And the money is none of the wiser. <laughs> See you tomorrow! Good night, girls. It's 
the dawn of a new day. Tat was warning us about this time. The ranch opens at 6am. Have a good final night, girls. We gotta do what we gotta do. So, that's the end of the ranch stuff that we can do. Unfortunately, our business is not done. We've still got some stuff to do. So, let's head back to Termina Field. For there is one more thing that we can do in terms of last minute money grinding. I know, bit of a uh, weird segue. Not really much of a segue to be honest, considering the somber tone. But, it's still our focus. Alright, so, I'm at the walls of town. What I am looking for right now is a single guay why is the camera panning up single guay that flies around the walls here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run in this direction to see if i can hit it off this guay doesn't trigger the uh, enemy music and it is not hostile if we can find it flying around the outer walls of clock town here what we want to do is play a colored song to it there it is so once it's above us there it is, it's going. What we want to do is get out of our ocarina, and we've got to play, well, as I said, one of the colour notes. Uh, considering that we played the Sonata of Awakening quite a lot in this uh, particular cycle, I think we need to offset that with a bit more G Goran's Lullaby. And how often do we get to play it with, with our ocarina? Which honestly sounds a lot better than the drums. I, I will admit, the drums are the weakest instrument. By doing this, he'll drop money and go a little bit faster. It's even hard to keep up with him with the bunny hood. But it's a lot more accurate with the bunny hood, so stick with it. Once you play um, music, he'll be flying about, dropping money. And once he drops enough, he'll drop a 20 and then fly away. If you re-enter Terminal Field, he will respawn, so you can farm this guy as many times as you want. You can do this day or night. Problem is, it's probably not worth. <laughs> There it is. So we pretty much got all the money for that. But yeah, again, not really worth it. We got pennies out of that, effectively. So there are much more reliable ways on getting money. So, I think I'm going to go back into that grotto with those two Dodongos. Going to knock them out. And get th that 100 rupees. Not going to bother with the roof with the chests out in Terminal Field here, because they only give us 20s. So we're going to pass on those. We want to get them in big clumps. Of course, it's night time, so watch out for the blue bubbles. They will jinx you and not allow you to use your sword if you, they make contact with you. Until the morning, or until, well, certain conditions are met. By killing them quickly, I still have enough time to actually go collect my winnings at the lottery. Do not need to open that. That is just a recovery heart. So let's head back to town and collect our winnings. Should have done that first before the Gwei and these um, Dodongos, but hey, I still have time, so it's fine. I had plenty of time to spare, with half an hour to go. We shall now announce the winning numbers! Your numbers are 884, today's winning numbers are 884. Congratulations! You win a prize of 50 rupees! What a waste of time on the N64 version, I will admit. But hey, and I've been saying but hey a lot, because that seems to be a thing with this, because ranch jokes. Uh, I guess you could say my jokes are very ranchy. We've won the final day lottery! Guess the winning numbers, call 50 rupees, no reward at, by getting all three days in a row. It's just 150 rupees guaranteed. So, we are now exchanging winning tickets. If you'd like to buy a ticket, we'll start selling them tomorrow, at, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Yeah, good luck with that. But with that, ironically enough, I'm almost up to 200 rupees again already. So if you'll excuse me for one moment while I just head over here and cut some more grass, just to, you know, bump that back to a max wallet. I did try to do the quick spin, but it didn't seem to work out well. Uh, I might have enough in terms of greens. I'm too off, are you kidding me? Alright, so now that we have a full wallet yet again, we can bank those as well. 
In fact, if I do really good, I might be able to actually get halfway. We only need, like, bump, bump in another 200 rupees and we'll pretty much be just under halfway. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, there's immediate 70 rupees in this very area, but we're not going to be dealing with those for now. Instead, what I'm going to do, and I went the long way by accident, is go back into the stockpot inn. Because it's, well, quite vacant right now. They haven't even locked the doors, which is kind of silly, actually. Considering it's just gone past 11 o'clock. But if we go upstairs, because there's no one effectively here to stop us, other than, once again, the dude in the middle room for some reason, we can actually go in here and check this chest out, which we can see on the map in the 3DS version. Angie's wedding dress. She was supposed to have something on the day of the ceremony, which is tomorrow morning, which is unfortunate. But they also left their life savings! Or this is supposed to be their safe, I don't know, pocket change? I don't know. But what I do know is this will be put to uh, something good. They're going to get it back anyway. but Because, you know, time-related shenanigans and money laundering. But yeah, kind of unfortunate, but that is still 100 rupees that you can pretty much bank in on the night of the final day. But that's not all. We're going back into the sewers, the part, the secret hideout of the bombers. But we're not going to go to the observatory. We're actually just going to go right back around here. Because if you remember, there is a 100 rupees in here that is much worth our time. So let's just blow that up and collect that as well. Two thousand two hundred eighty-two rupees. That's another two hundred rupees in the pot. Let's go grab the money in these two chests really quick. Banking in that 70, we're at 2,552. Now we're halfway. That is exactly what I wanted. Now, we're going to immediately leave east because we need to get back to the canyon's graveyard within the little time we have remaining. It is the night of the final day. Let's see if we can do what we need to do. Okay, that's unfortunate. I have been jinxed, but I don't think I need to worry about my sword for now. We got here very quick. Let's slap on the captain's mask. They're now circling a different grave. Ah, uh, 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 Captain, sir, excuse me, sir. Everyone give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in a long time, Captain, sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. A different one each day. We've been expecting your next order, sir. Open the grave! Open it? Yes, sir! Everyone, follow me! Yeah, yeah. You know, they're pretty strong if they can actually damage, like, solid rock like that. Even as a Gorum, we can't do that. These guys have got special training. Either that or claws. Uh, I want to swap my, uh, captain's hat for... I don't think I need the Lens of Truth, actually. We'll have it on anyway. Because we need to see the truth. Welcome to Beneath the Graveyard, where we actually have a hidden chest that we can't exactly gain at the moment. Break some of these pots for some quick provisions. We need to hop right down, and we need to be quick. And I normally do this at this time of day, which is quite ironic. Dampy's here for some reason. I guess he's been doing some grave digging himself. But the grave was in the way. How did he get down here? You? Who are you? I can't see because it's too bright. You're not a ghost, are you? Uh, no. That, it's a fairy flying around your face, mate. It's not that dark in here. You're cataract. It's a fairy. Oh, it was the fairy's light. In that case, it's just perfect. I came looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch has gone out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of me and light the way? Please. You see these dirt mounds? He will automatically dig once he reaches them. We gotta find three specific ones. And two of them are quite annoying. But it shouldn't be as annoying in this version because he does actually move pretty quick. You will? In that case, I'll use your light as I walk. Just lead me to the place where you think the treasure chest is buried. I'll even split the treasure with you. I'm counting on you now. So your time limit for this is mostly just, um, you know, the, the remaining time of the night that you have on the final day. And it can take a while because he does... Well, he moves quick enough, but... Yeah, it's kind of annoying considering you have to target him and be very close in order, him, in order to lead him. Otherwise, he'll just go wandering. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Yes, please. Please be one. That is not one. That is not good. Nothing's turning up. 
take me to another spot. Right, target him and go immediately this way. We'll lead him to the middle. I mean, time's not ticking. Actually, I'll lead him to this one. Time's not ticking as fast as you'd think at the moment. Remember, we've still got slowing down time. But there is a floor master, so we got to move and dodge that and kill you. Actually, I'm not power. I'm not jinxed anymore. Okay, I guess transitioning from over overworld to underworld gets rid of it. I guess. Even though it has a time limit. There's something strange about this spot. Oh, he dropped some money. That's good. God, there's nothing there either. That's not good. Oh, he dropped money. That's good. Oh, we didn't get the spot. That's bad. Right, come on. Actually, you know what? Let's be smart about this. Let's take you up here. Because it's not going to be the two... It's not going to be all three of them on the floor. What we have to do is get him onto these particular blocks, and they act as lifts. The problem is we can't ride with him for some bizarre reason. We have to take the long way. So once he's on, we can then make our way up ourselves. Uh, I did press the L button to target. I don't know why it didn't center behind me. Yeah, there's no point having the bunny hood at the moment, because we're pretty much stuck with his pace. But we do want to beat him up here before, you know, the platform takes its sweet-ass time to get into position. Don't worry, it won't move until he gets off the platform himself. And until he is clear. There we are. So he's on solid ground. This is agonizing. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. Yep, of course that'd be one of them. Oh, well, that was a good move on my part. Something strange is here, but it isn't any treasure. Show me another spot. We gotta find two more of these. And it's not explained as to why. He drops down. The comedic's whistling. And uh, we need to lead him not back on the lift. That's a bad idea. Let's take him around. That be the one. Please be the one next to it. I don't think it's random. That means we do have to take this one. Okay, so it's random. I thought it was. I think I've played this game enough now to actually realise that. Yeah. So he goes up. Pass climb by mashing B. Yep, this pillar just has a digging spot. Where, where is he? Uh, but, oh, there he is. <laughs> it wanted to sl slide across first, then raise up to throw you off. Problem is, I don't want him to U-turn in the wrong direction, so I'm going to stand here and target him. Yeah, because he's going to do the Mario 64 shenanigans. Alright, so I, w I might have cut that out, but, like, going to each spot, because I couldn't words. I thought this was random, but I don't think it is. You have to do the two block ones, and it's one of them in on the middle. So these two are guaranteed spots, because they're out of the way. Once we found all three, which actually we still have plenty of time, so there's nothing for me to worry about really. I could have probably not got jinxed. It's the leader of the ghosts. That is a big po, but they act incredibly different to what they used to. Instead of riding on a pono and then shooting them down, and they just you know fly around shooting fireballs, these guys spin around, disappear, and they keep on doing that. You need to catch them out. Right, I've got that in the wall. Let's get down here so we're in a much more optimal spot. Uh, okay, uh, where are you? There you are. When they're spinning, they cannot be hit. Best to not target them because they will. They tend to disappear as soon as they do their attacks. Nope, nope, okay, I was trying to turn around before shooting. Just snipe them with arrows until they're dead. They always come from behind. So, stand. Wait for the sound. Block from behind. And... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he went on an angle. Oh, God. There we are. We nailed him. Two hours to spare. So, it only took about two hours to do in game time. And yes, we can actually catch this thing. Uh, okay, it won't... Wait, can I target and check? No, I have to actually... Uh, swing a bolt in order to do that. Fair enough. 
So it's not automatic like in Ocarina of Time, you have to do it yourself. You caught a big toe in a bottle, this may lead to something good. I'm immediately going to take that off of my item. Uh, actually, I just won't press Y. Because we don't want to accidentally drink that. Right, let's put the bunny hood back on again, because time is of the essence. And we do have a chest! Now, this chest is quite interesting, depending on the version of the game you're playing. N64 or this. You got a piece of heart. Now, remember the um, the bottle that we got from Kume? That was a piece of heart in the N64 version. That piece of heart in the bottle that we got from there, the, the bottle will basically be here instead of a piece of heart. These are the two that have swapped. As you can see, I'm overlaying the uh, N64 original. We got a bottle. So now we're basically back onto par, except for the stone mask. <laughs> From the N64 version, so now the N64 version is one mask up, but it won't be for long, don't worry. We will be back into a level ground soon, but in terms of bottles and heart pieces, we're back on level ground. We're back, we're not on a skew. You completed the Akana Graveyard Underground on the final day. You defeated a big poet and got a piece of heart. There we are, and with that we have another heart container on top. Okay, I was trying to spin attack there, but it wasn't working. There we go. 50 rupees! We're making bank today. Um, Dampy? We seem to be in his house, actually. Why would he ever stay away to an underground area in his house that he's never solved the mystery to? I ain't seen nothing and I don't know nothing. What happens if we pop this on and talk to him? Nothing. If you put that on and talk to him outside, he does actually get freaked out. Oh, I didn't mean to move it. I wanted to equip it. Okay, he's not saying anything. Fair enough. Let's put the uh, Poe back on. That was a lot going into the items, but hey, I wasn't going to show the actual um, inventory off. I'm just going to spin here. Oh, I got nothing but health because I was actually a little bit hurt. Fair. We've already done that grotto. We go back to the graveyard. It's not really anything that we can do here. Pretty much at the end of this cycle. But, we do have this big Poe now. And we also have some bottle of bugs I might be able to get rid of. Let's head to the curiosity shop for one last visit. So, with big Poes, we can't really do much else with them other than coming in here. Oh, right, I did take the mask off. Gotta look around, doing the special sale, check it out. Today's special bargain just came stolen. It was just a few mo seconds ago. It's really hot, I kid you not. Yeah, that's a big bomb bag, mate. I have the biggest. I don't need that. Yeah, we didn't... Actually, it's something sold over at the bomb shop, but a thief sold it to me. It's a big bomb bag. Yeah, don't need it, mate. I'm here to sell. I'll pay you good for it. If you got some, anything good, show it to me. Actually, can we sell the title deed? I'm pretty sure we can. I can't sell that here at the moment. Okay, so you don't do real estate. Fair dinkum. I don't actually need them equipped on my items. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm used to putting them on my items in order to use it. Alright, let's try the big pot. For that, I'll give you 200 rupees. Oh, I didn't realise it was that much. Um, I'll say no for a minute. I might have to make a quick second visit. <laughs> can we do bugs? Do you want some bugs? You want 20 rupees for that? Yeah, okay, we can get rid of these bugs. Right, I'll be right back. So now we have 2,659. God damn it, I have to keep taking the mask off. That's really annoying. You don't, you don't serve masqueraders. I'm wearing the mask because I need to run fast, mate. Do you understand the situation at hand here? Money is probably not the most best thing in the world, but for now I need to make bank. Take it! 200 rupees in me wallet. Huge rupee. Might as well. Same thing goes for the Deco Princess. You can sell her for this as well. Yes, that is messed up. But if we rewind time, it's like it never happened. Except for the fact that the bank will still keep our record. I don't have anything else to sell you, mate. Thank you very much for your patronage. Let's bank in the last 200 rupees of the day. We have incredibly increased our bank account. And I even know I could possibly hop into the, um... 
the, so the sword training dojo and probably loot the money there. We've got less than an hour. I think that's time to call it a day. So, we have done, well, quite a bit, I would say, in this three-day cycle. We were going to go to the ocean, but we needed a horse. And now that we do have our horse, we can go to the ocean. But because the ranch was in trouble and we learnt of the predicament, we were able to sort that out. But next time, we will be heading over to the ocean, and we don't have to worry about the lottery anymore. But when it comes to Andrew and her issues, we still can't do anything about that at this present point in time. Well, I say present, we won't be able to do anything when we rewind anyway, we don't have the equipment. Yeah, we're still ill-equipped for that situation. That'll be too quite later on. But, unfortunately, we helped Kremier and Romani as best as we can. But the end of the world is nigh. We're gonna have to undo it all again, but we did make massive bank. So next time, on Legends of the Majora's Mask 3D, we do head toward the ocean. See you guys then.